Hi, St. Michael's community. This is Anna from Faith Formation coming to you from my home. Today I wanted to read you a story uh, about Joseph's colorful coat. Uh, this is a story from the book of Genesis. It starts in chap uh, chapter 33. And um, the book itself was donated to us with uh, quite a few others from Danielle Hill, who was a catechist for second grade and recently PCS to South Carolina before all this craziness came out. So Joseph's Colorful Coat, written by Catherine Soli and illustrated by Simona Sanfilippo. Long ago, Joseph's father, Jacob, gave him a colorful new coat. This made Joseph's brothers angry. Joseph was younger than his 11 brothers. Why does he get a new coat when we don't, grumbled one brother. He's always the favorite complained another. One night, Joseph had two dreams. In the first dream, eleven bundles of wheat gathered around Joseph's bundle and bowed. In the second dream, the sun, moon, and eleven stars bowed to Joseph. When Joseph told his brothers about the dreams, they were angry. Do you think we are going to bow to you? they asked. Soon after, Joseph went to find his brothers. They were still annoyed with him. When they saw him coming, they said, Let's kill him and pretend a wild animal attacked him. But Brother Reuben tried to save him. Let's just leave him in this empty well. If we tear his coat, Father will think he is dead. Just then, some merchants came riding by with their camels. They were on their way to Egypt. Brother Judah hatched another plan. Let's sell Joseph to the merchants as a slave. And that's what they did. The brothers went home and showed their father Joseph's torn coat. Jacob thought that Joseph was dead. He was very sad. But Joseph was on his way to Egypt to be sold as a slave. Joseph became a slave of one of the king's officers. For a long time he was happy and trusted by his master. But the master's wife tricked him and he went to jail. Two men were in the jail with Joseph. The first man said, I had a dream. What does it mean? I squeezed three grapevines into the king's cup. Joseph said happily, God knows what your dream means. In three days the king will send you Send for you to be his wine servant. The second man said, I had a dream. What does it mean? I had three baskets of bread, but birds came and pecked the bread, he said. Joseph said sadly, God knows what your dream means. In three days, you will die. Both dreams came true. Then one day the king had two dreams. In the first dream, seven skinny cows ate seven fat ones. And in the second dream, seven straggly corn stalks ate seven strong corn stalks. When the king told his dreams to the wise men, they were puzzled. But the king's wine servant said, I know someone who can tell you what your dream means. His name is Joseph. The king sent for Joseph. He said, I had two dreams. What do they mean? And he told Joseph his dreams. Joseph said, God knows what your dreams mean. Seven fat cows and seven strong corn stalks mean seven years of good harvest. Seven skinny cows and seven straggly corn stalks mean seven years of bad harvest. Oh no, what will we do? asked the king. Save wheat from the good harvest to feed the people during the bad harvest, said Joseph. The king was so pleased that he put Joseph in charge. For seven years the harvest was good, and they kept some wheat. For the next seven years the harvest was bad, but the people had plenty to eat. Far away, Joseph's father and brothers were hungry. Oh no, what will we do? they cried. We will go to Egypt. They have plenty of food, said Jacob. 
After a long journey, Jacob and the brothers arrived in Egypt. They bowed down before the man in charge of food. Imagine their surprise when they looked up and saw Joseph. Joseph was pleased to see his father and brothers after all these years. The dream he had all those years ago had come true. The end. All right, I hope you guys all enjoyed that story. And I hope you have a beautiful Sunday.